All right, hero fans. So remuneration information comes at a cost. Collect gold to use for bribes. Be, pre be prepared for dice games. Take heed, thieves are not known for their loyalty. Okay, so we want to keep doing bonus dice. Can I inspect bonus dice? Optionally, roll an extra die after missing the dice gambit's target, but lose your companion for three turns. Oh, okay, so that's how this works. Yeah, let's bring him along, obviously. All right, so we have the stolen ones, which we can't do yet, deadly forest. Man of the world, might as well. Everything new, pretty much. I might as well not even bother with Clan Eyebright. We're probably not going to get a whole lot of blessings here. So let's just grab, um... Well, let's just grab the Old Maiden and be on our way. Okay, so we have Billy Clubs, which have a, have a token attached to them. Hreath is Ire, which is always good. Armor of Gluttony. Mercenary Garb. And Ring of Food. Always the Ring of Food. Okay. So, we're up against thieves here. Propose 25 thieves. Oh, I get two. Well, in that case, let's start with the extra food then. In better times, it would have been my card here. The guardian of knowledge and the protector of the gates of life and death. Now, Callus sits that throne and miscreants assume the position. Assume the position? With Malaclipse's encouragement, what's a few murders in the grand scheme of things? You find yourself sat opposite the opulently dressed leader of the Thieves Guild, or one of the leaders. It's a shadowy organization. He takes a sip of wine and leans back to savor the taste. I am scheduled to be assassinated. I believe the suspect is one of my own. With a subtle nod, he indicates a bearded man, a woman with red hair, and a man with gray eyes. Borden, Rowena, and Grindon, my three personal silencers. One of them left me this note, I am sure. When the red candle's flame burns out on this last evening at Bulmer Mulberry Inn, the false priest will have his sins appeased. He points out the red candle in the fireplace. The assassin favors theatrics over secrecy, it seems. Find the assassin for me. To do that, you will likely need gold. Thieves will tell you anything for gold. Ask who he is exactly. I am known as Father Galfrey. Though it's not my true name, of course, I keep track of accounts in this region. Ask for more information about the assassin. A note was left for me at this inn. Okay. We've already done that. Ask for more information on Borden. Borden is the eldest in my employ, a simple, nervous kind of man. I highly doubt that he would have the heart nor the finesse to assassinate me. Unless he has hidden his true nature at all this time. Galfrey has said that Borden has worked for him a long time. I'd say you have to pour a few meads into him if you want him to talk. That's cool. So by doing this, we get some extra starting clues. Okay, what about Rowena? Rowena has been one of my silencers for as long as I have been in this p position. And that is a very long time indeed. I asked that she infiltrate the Third Legion of the Imperial Army and eliminate their captain. She did so, of course, as efficient as anything. I suspect that she's only truly loyal to gold, but she is quite a valuable asset to the guild, so it would be a shame if she intends to assassinate me. And Grindon. I know very little of Grindon. I hired him in the last town. A skilled killer. Galfrey said that Grindon has worked for him for a short time. He's prone to making the most preposterous claims, many of which are untrue. I'd be wary of exa his exaggerations, even if he isn't the assassin, and especially when he's had too much wine. All right, let's retire for the night. And with that, he waves you away, and you retire to bed, wondering how Malaclipse talked you into this. Use the Empire to provide the fodder for your own challenges. I understand. Okay. You visit your contract contact in the Imperial Armory. You must be planning for trouble if you've come to me for help, he says with a knowing grin. Tell me who are you hunting. I'll see what I can find in the vault of contraband items. Thieves. You tell them that you're hunting thieves. Not an uncommon practice these days, he comments, heading into the vault. 
And we get mercenary garb. I could get in a lot of trouble if anyone finds out I took it from the vault. I'll have it sent to you when I can. Alright, so we get mercenary garb. Which will get put onto the top of the deck. Cool. General store. What can I even buy? Ring of food. Gambler's jewel. What's this do? Adds... Add two to your final score during dice gambits. That's really good. Mercenary garb. Stun defense. Brief stun to thieves who hit the player with melee attacks. Tight pockets. Reduces the chance of goblins stealing an item by 50%. Okay. And then Haritha's ire. So, can I make... What can I sell? If I could make 20, we'd be golden. But I must leave. A game of chance or two, perhaps. Because, yeah, the gambler, the gambler's ring is amazing. Beside a busy Empire Road, you spy a ramshackle stall, whereupon a few ramshackle people are seated on stools rolling dice. You approach the stall, and behind the table is a little girl practicing on a poorly tuned violin. Besides her waits a squat lady clad in a flowery apron. Welcome! Have a seat! Do try the spice cakes! I baked them this morning! The grizzled, toothless gentleman besides you chuckles. Don't trust her, she'll distract you with her beautiful face. Berta blushes and hands out more sweets. Let's play the dice. How much are you looking to bet? These are our rates today. Let's bet nine gold. Remember, Poppet, it's double or nothing. Berta hands you three well-worn dice. If your third roll is highest, you'll win enough to buy your sweetheart something from the market. Roll die. I get a bonus for this one. Boom. Now for your second roll. Roll higher than eight on your third and final roll. All right. This is your last roll. The grubby gamblers beside you watch eagerly. Roll higher than a nine on your third and final roll. All right, there we go. Congratulations, dear. You've won 18 gold with your original bet of nine. Let's see, do we play the dice again? Unfortunately, I don't get, uh... Or, no, I probably do. Let's play the dice. Let's bet another nine. Because we have Kolbjorn. Who can keep us above, just in case. However, I'm probably going to stop this here, maybe? Alright. I'm at 28 gold. Do we try one more time? Yeah, let's try again. 17. Oof. Roll higher than a 6. Oh. I... That's impossible. So, my first roll screws me over. I guess. So that wasn't... This wasn't worth it. Okay, so I fail. Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. So by rolling so high on the first one, I screwed myself over. I don't have Colbjorn this time. Okay, well, I still gained 10 gold from all of that, even if I lost a little bit. Once again, we return to the inn, seeking clues to save a life. Let's when go to the we inn. Look into memories, so many things are left unsaid and clouded. Why this life? Why so, this inn? I will point out for missions, seeing as we have the Twitch integration on, um, for certain missions, uh, certain things are necessary for me to win the mission period. And this isn't me, like, trying to bargain a deal or anything, just to point out. 
that like specifically for this one I see that there's like the minus 20 money for this one uh, for this overarching mission I need money to even be able to succeed at it uh, and so by like specifically going out of your way to just rob me of all of my cash it more or less is going to make it impossible for me to finish it um, and I'd have to do the mission again which I mean that's that's fine uh, it's just a, a fair thing to point out along the way here and of course everybody does B. All right. I mean if you want <laughs> if you want me to lose lose it outright. You enter the Mulberry Inn and find Father Galfrey at his usual yeah, okay. He scratches some numbers on one of the many rolls of paper strewn across the table and then glances up at you. 3 days until the assassin comes for me and three suspects. How apt. 3 days to uncover the liar. Let's see. I would like you to follow one of my silencers on a job. Uh, trading trust for information. Pay for it if you must. Ask why an underling would want to kill him. We all covet gold. That is why we are in the business, no? If someone has paid a high price for my head, then there is no, there is little I can do. He considers his wine for a moment. I'd imagine the assassin is more inclined towards lying. If you can root out the liar, you will uncover the assassin too. Okay, so the assassin will always lie regardless of their personality. Okay. Can I check my clues? I think I'm just supposed to do all of them. Okay. I, I want to say it was Grindon. I've told Grindon to stake out the castle by Moorhammer Lake. For any movement, in or out, the lady of the castle owes us considerable debt. You, you know have a liking for strange bedfellows. Here you are helping thieves challenge thieves without a thought for their ultimate victims. You note the meeting point on your map and retire for the night. The guild. Okay. Yeah, the reason why I bring the whole, like, gold gain thing up is, uh, purely, if I lose any mission, and I'm not saying people need to make me win, we more or less have to repeat this until I beat it, because I'm, I'm not gonna skip ahead or anything like that. I still really wish, instead of the minus health, plus health, plus food, minus food, whatever, they'd actually gone with, like, random events that could pop up and all sorts of things. Uh, I, I find the whole increase or decrease of supplies to be very uninteresting. Uh, it more or less just means that uh, instead of actually challenging me, it's more or less just like, well, you're out of money, you can't beat this mission, try again, it's like, eh. Uh, it would be so much cooler if people could vote on, like, whether or, get, whether or not I, like, if the card I move on to, like, eight spaces from now is replaced with, like, a brimstone event or something like that. Because, uh, I, I find this to be less exciting. Oh, you should do choice oh, oh, chamber. Oh, you make a poor apprentice. Cultivate focus. Shut up. Um, but... It's just, it would be more interesting if it was actually something substantive as opposed to just, like, a blessing or a minus. Thus we see the contempt the Empire holds your kind in. So you'd have preferred if they did something closer to cluster truck modifiers. Absolutely. Uh, I, I find, like, you guys are currently voting on giving me money. That's fine. I just find it uninteresting. It would be so much cooler if it was a... If it was like, I get attacked by assassins, uh, eight, um, you know, eight tiles from here, if that makes sense. Uh, cause that would be a much more compelling thing for me. Cause it would add extra challenge and be more interesting than, oh, hey, you have more money. Anyway, a uh, careless comment in an Imperial Tavern gains you some unwanted attention. A soldier approaches. A, varied, a variety of commendations are pinned to his military jacket. What's this filthy mercenary doing in here? He asks loudly, sizing you up with contempt. Coin slaves like you are nothing more than undisciplined thugs. Nobody cares for your outrageous claims of heroism. You think you know how to handle that thing, do you? He continues, gesturing at your weapon. I am Cassius, the finest swordsman in my company. Would you like to prove your mettle against a real warrior, or are goblins in the corrupted the limit of your talents? Except the duel. Like, for example, uh, going into this fight, you guys, I would much prefer it if you guys could vote on reinforcements, 
uh, or like the item that I get as the end result or something. Because that would be so much more compelling to me. And that way, the whole like plus minus thing would never slow me down apart from just like random chance. Alright, so this guy has some armor. I'm more or less just going to be stabbing the shit out of his armor. Okay. Ow. Okay. I... Wait. No, we're fine. That was weird. That was... Easy, actually. Enough! Your opponent steps back, hands raised. I don't have time for this nonsense. The tavern... Crowd, cheers for your victory, and tales of your battle are told and retold. Your prowess growing e with each telling. But yeah, the, the reason why I bring this up is, like, that's kind of what Choice Chamber had, or Cluster Truck. And I thought that was all just more interesting. One but I'm glad to have it anyway. On their belongings, lest little hands find idle work. With a snap, you feel something being yanked off your person. You turn to see a few goblins running away, giggling and pointing at you. With no time to check what was stolen, you rush after the thieving devils. Defeat the goblins before they blow the horn and escape. Oh, are you kidding me? Some highwaymen emerge from the bushes to protect the goblins. Thieves' Guild! Ah, but we do get uh, Col Colborn back. Yeah, my problem with uh, Choice Chamber is ultimately it wasn't a very fun game. This is a much more fun game. Uh, the Twitch integration is just, um, slightly less. Okay, so I gotta prioritize these goblins, who are much better dressed in this game. Thief. There will ever be a place for small hands and quick wits. Defeat goblins quickly to avoid losing your items for good. Thieves attack more frequently while goblins are alive to protect their spoils. Alright, so they took my daggers. Our time has come, so be it. Okay, where's the other ones? I... No, come on! This is one thing I don't like about this game, is it's almost impossible to actually, uh... It's almost impossible to... It's almost impossible to keep up with the enemies. Because they're always being defended. Uh, they're always being defended uh, by like a whole, whole cluster, which I totally understand. Uh, it's just like, because this has Arkham targeting, I can't specifically aim for anybody else. What the hell was that? Um, better maneuverability would solve the problem, because currently I can't like run around the map. Or if I could lock targets with somebody. Uh. What the? Oh! That was Col Bjorn that moved by. But yeah, the movement is like weirdly slow and stilted. So if you're like trying to maneuver around the battlefield, you usually just kind of end up feeling like you're stumbling and stuff. Okay, whatever. Killed them all. Ugh. Hurt though. Well, I get my stuff back. You take back your brigands' blades from the unconscious goblin. As soon as you do, with the splutter, the goblin in question awakes and flips away from you. Giggling, it escapes into the forest. Unfortunately, your coin purse feels a bit lighter. The thieving devils? Did one of them take a bite from the pasty in your haversack, too? With the thugs defeated, you search the bodies for valuables. Alright, so we can either get Hretha's Ire or Mercenary Garb. Uh, let's get the Mercenary Garb. Hretha's Ire would be nice, but... How We're probably going to have more more goblins coming after me. Return to the Mulberry Inn. Let's keep exploring for a bit. 
nobility the palace continues armory used to reward itself and the rich become yet more wealthy the palace armory is holding a special promotion for the nobility the guards block your entrance peasants are forbidden from entering the palace armory turn away or be sent to the dungeons I require 16 fame well that sucks assassins I have little love for them, less still for the criminal guilds that fill the cities these days. Bankers, thieves, assassins, merchants, kings, each tries to use their power to control those around them. With a shout, Grindon signals your arrival at the castle by Moorhammer Lake. You find some long grass and settle down for the day. Despite being a stakeout, Grindon happily talks quite loudly. You know, my sources tell me the lady inside is wanted for high treason. He suddenly pulls out a bit of charcoal and paper. Would you like my autograph? Say yes. You allow him to scribble his name on the roll of paper. He tucks it lovingly into your hand. Grindon trusts you a little more. Time passes, but nobody leaves or enters the modest castle. I say, who are you anyway? Grindon retrieves a boiled sweet from a paper bag and pops it in his mouth. I've not seen you around before. Uh... Say you're the leader of the Thieves' Guild in disguise. Grindon raises his eyebrows. Really? What are you doing here with me on this job? Say that you're here to personally congratulate him. Oh, wow! Grindon bows his head in deference. I can't believe it. I mean, I uh, suppose I am quite handsome and good at this job to boot. Can I ask you a question? Are you really plan planning to assassinate the Emperor? Say yes. Grindon crinkles the paper bag with sweets, wide-eyed. But I heard the Emperor just got magic keeping him alive. Grindon trusts you a little bit more. Little else happens during the stakeout. You spend most of the time watching the dog sleep. Before you head your separate ways, you take a chance to question Grindon. Grindon is checking his appearance in the reflection of his blade. Ask what he thinks of... No. Ask about his favorite food. Ah! Great question! It would be berry pudding, without a doubt. Ask about his family. Who needs family when I have so many devo devoted followers? Ask about his past. I was specifically asked to join the Thieves' Guild many moons ago, after I slew a manticore using only a dagger, with no shoes on. Grindon said that he joined the guild many moons ago, and slew a manticore with no shoes on. Alright, ask what he thinks of Father Galfrey. Father Galfrey, a doddering old fool, I'm surprised he hasn't already been replaced by a younger, more dashing guild member. He's gone soft in his old age. The other day, he let one of the rabble go free after they mucked up a job. No thumbs chopped off. Nothing! Grindon is checking his appearance. Yeah, bid goodbye. Alright, and... Did I... Did I not already have... Alright, whatever. You wonder how much he told is a lie. Probably most of it. Alright, enter the inn. You enter the Mulberry Inn and find Father Gelfry. At his usual table by the fireplace, you sit down across from him. He scratches some numbers on one of the many rolls of paper strewed across the table and glances up at you. I hope the job with Grindon was fruitful today. You are not dead with a knife in your back, so I presume yes. It would be prudent to review what my silencers have said. When you have a quiet moment, perhaps you'll catch a lie in the process. Uh, tomorrow, who will you follow? Talk about your goblin problem. Goblins from our guild? He scratches his chin in annoyance. Their loyalty to the guild is tenuous at best. Here, take this. Thieves' folly. So much folly begins and ends with crime. Oh, I see. Mercenary garb had a fame requirement I only just reached. I gotcha. Well, that's helpful. A funny bunch, goblins. Tomorrow, who will you follow? Let's go with, uh, Rowena. Rowena has been tasked with kidnapping the child of Lady Fielding as they journey to the capital. You note the meeting point on your map and retire for the night. Guild. Okay. So we're kind of injured. Oh, man of the world. Ah, greetings, fellow traveler. A cheerful fellow clad in brilliant yellow surcoat passes you on the road one day. Let me tell you, your gift is exquisite. I should know, I almost wore that exact same thing today. He pulls out a hefty scroll. I've been documenting every nook and cranny of this beautiful land, and my soul is shaking with delight at the thought of sharing it with you. Goblins, return to the Mulberry Inn, and the guild. And 
deadly forest. May your vistas be breathtaking and your tree climbing be non-lethal. With an enthusiastic wave, the man shoulders his heavy rucksack and continues his journey, whistling all the while. Now, let's go mess up some more goblins. Now, yep. We have some friends and they steal my ring. Let's see if I can get it back. I got my daggers this time. Give me my ship back. Okay. Oh, I have to retrieve my shit? Where's the last goblin? Where's the last goblin? There you are. If he can't blow his horn, he can't escape. Damn it. So these are thief silencers, which apparently are unblockable. That's a pain in the ass. I swear the... I swear the daggers had uh, a longer duration on their, like, weird spin move. Oh, well. Let's see. I don't even know if I got all my stuff back. I assume I did not. We'll see. Alright, so goblins are colluding with the Thieves' Guild now, and I do get equipment. This piece has passed through more than a few hands. Every gambler loses eventually, even when the deck is stacked in their favor. Okay, so we get the gambler's ring. This will and not be the last time you tread foot in places others fear, I suspect. If indeed you do so. So, Deadly Forest. The forests of... Multifernum are legendarily dangerous. For every tale of its hidden treasures, there are five stories of adventurers who never returned. Enter the forest. Shadowy beasts descend from the trees and tear at your flesh. Ow. Fearing for your life, you flee the forest. What? I didn't get, even get an option there. I just took damage. You and Rowena need not travel far before finding a gilded carriage trundling along the Imperial Road. The carriage is protected by a contingent of guards. Defeat them all. You and Rowena draw your swords in unison and leap into battle. Well, I assume I... I do have the neglected sword. Okay, so I can switch between all of the basic weapons if I wanted to. Yeah, that's only repost thieves, so I'll use the villager's axe. It's a little bit more damaging. Oh, and I don't have anything else. Okay. I am joined by some people, though. I wasn't well equipped enough to handle the for fire forest. So I need some kind of fire equipment, maybe? There, there was no feedback. It's just like, well, you take damage, and then there you go. Kind of makes me sad. Kind of makes me sad that I can't, uh, repost the shield, guys. Okay. 
Oh, when they're stunned, they take hella bonus damage. I gotta watch my HP a little bit here. Wait. <sighs> Unfortunately, we changed targets at a, like, on a whim. And I can't interrupt their attacks. I, I guess it's not so bad. But it is very confusing sometimes. Okay. Ooh. Cheese and a cracker. Thank you, Shell. Aw. Okay. Ooh, you guys are gonna take my food for me. Ouch. That might hurt on this one. I don't know how much food I get. Rowena is impressed by your efficient fighting skills. You gain four fame. She trusts you a little more. You open the carriage door to see a woman dressed in silks and gems, clutching her son. Please, she cries desperately. Take all this gold. He's just a child. Without a second thought, Rona pockets the heavy pouch of coins from the weeping mother and closes the door on them. She stares at you coldly. It's foolish to be loyal to anything but gold. I trust you will agree with me? Yeah, swear yourself to secrecy. She trusts us a little more. If there's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Ask about her favorite food. Roasted apple. Family. I have a family in the capital. I do not talk to them. Ask about her past. I joined the guild after I murdered the captain of the third legion. And ask what she thinks of Father Galfrey. He sits in his finery, counting coins. I expect he will do so until the day he dies. She considers you for a bit. I wouldn't trust him so much. He is not a guild of thieves, just like us, after all. If there's nothing else, I have business elsewhere. Bid goodbye. And more fame. Alright, let's go to the inn. You enter Mulberry Inn and find Father Galfrey at his usual table by the fireplace. You sit down across from him. For once, Father Gelfry is merely sitting and staring silently at his papers. The quill is stationary in his hand. Tomorrow evening, I may die. For the briefest moment, fatigue crosses his face. Father Gelfry appears all at once very old. I hope you will know who the assassin is before then. Ask why he trusts you. Father Gelfry looks at you sadly. Even if you were to steal the ring from my hand, you could never truly be part of this guild. No. No, you don't have the heart for it. Ask to borrow from the guild's coffers to bribe the suspects. I cannot! I'd have to lie on the guild's records! Father Gelfry's jowls quiver in shock at the suggestion. I'd go on a job with Bo Borden. Borden is going to pick up some lamps from shipwreck port that have been, well, let's say, repossessed from their owners. You know, meeting point. Okay, gotcha the guild I need some food and you guys are gonna take it from me that's rough I have 58 gold and I have yet to use it on anybody oh general store thank God all right let's see what I can buy equipment wise we have the Lord's diadem defeat a corrupted enemy cause a short stun to nearby enemies reduces the speed of precision gambits okay so that's a helm frontier barbit Reveals encounters. Armor of Gluttony. Three defense if you have 20 plus food. Three defense for each additional five food. Uh, let's see. Receive one food for every gain food or gain gold. And Billy Clubs. Kill 15 thieves with a finisher to unlock this token. Okay. Knockdown Thieves. Flurry of Strikes that cause knockdown against thieves and light. Hits increased combo counter, repost, gotcha. Well. What can I sell? I thought I had a spare mercenaries guard. I'll sell the mercenary's garb. It's okay, but the armor of gluttony is more he helpful, I think. Okay, so let's get the armor of gluttony. Ancient and let's equip it. have considered the same issues we do. How to handle hunger and resources during battle. I'd like to get the billy clubs, but I think I'm going to leave them alone. We'll get and use them later. Let's buy some food. Let's buy a stupid amount of food. And that gets me a little bit extra. 
Thank you, Gluttony. All right, and leave. I don't have much money, but I haven't needed to bribe anybody yet. Old Maiden, ask for gold. Hell yeah. And it gets me some more food. Alright, a winding trail. Suddenly, a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. Weapons bristle from trees around you. Their wielders' faces obscured by the undergrowth. Alright. Give us all your gold or die! Attack the cowardly band of thieves for daring to threaten you. This is exactly what we wanted, actually. I got lucky this time. Yeah, I did. I still really wish the Twitch integration was something more substantive than just taking or giving resources. Like, it would be so much cooler if you guys could sick enemies on me or give me, like, uh, assistant companions. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm still using this axe because I forgot to equip the, uh, the dagger. Well. I feel stupid. I guess this is not exactly what I wanted. I mean, this axe is wrecking these guys. So it doesn't matter that much. But I wish I had, uh... I wish I had my daggers. Because then I could repost. A repost would be nice. Oh well. Yeah, I might have to camp to heal at some point. Oh well. Yeah, if I... The only problem is, like, the, uh, the substantive, like, Twitch integration would probably take a fair bit of effort. With the cowards subdued, the thugs plead for their lives. Please, for pity's sake, we only want to feed our families. What else would you have us do? We can let them go free, demand they give you their spoils, or... <sighs> Let's give them ten gold and let them go free. Thank you, adventurer, from all of us and our families. We'll spread word of your forgiveness and generosity. Your kind deeds will not be forgiven. I was hoping that would actually give us some info. Goblins. And they have friends. Damn it! It didn't give me the, uh, the inventory notification there. All right. All right, there goes one of them. Where's the next? There are the next. Shit. Stupid long animations. Where to go? No, stop. She goes whatever direction she wants, I've noticed. Which is oftentimes a bit of an issue. Well. There we go. Dang it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to camp soon. Because I'm actually dying. Okay. There we go. <sighs> yeah, this is not easy. The... The assassins are, uh... Are rough. The, the problem is, I feel like dodging has become less smooth over the, uh, from game, from the first game to the second. I don't know. But yeah, I do need to use my food to heal. You are completely correct on that one. Okay. Well, let's figure this out. 
Alright. I get my stuff, do I get valuables? I gain equipment, which gets me billy clubs. No better way to enforce justice than force. All law follows from might. Well, I'll grab the billy clubs since they're rare. Oh, there we go. 25 HP. All right, let's camp. Good. I'm about to lose Take three this chance to review the clues you have learned so far. I'll go up to that. Let's review clues. Okay, Galfrey said Borden has worked with him for a long time. Borden will speak truth when drunk. Roman has worked with him for a long time. Was in the Third Legion. Rowena will always tell the truth for money. Grindon worked with him for a short time. Will make wild accusations when drunk. Assassin will always lie regardless of their personality. Okay, so it's probably Grindon. Let's see. And there goes my food, but that's fine. Exploring the wilds with no idea of the lay of the land. You know not why what lies ahead of you. Dangerous wilds. I will take it. Holy shit. Um, that's two of arcane and a frost shaman. Well, my other alternatives are the brigand's blades, which are worse. All right, I'll go with this. All right, this will be... a problem. <laughs> Mage. A century of persecution has left only the most martial still willing to call themselves mage. Mages shoot projectiles from a distance. Use evade to avoid their attacks. Get up. Ah, shit. Yeah, the problem is we've got healers. got healers and mages oh this is rough because the mages are extra tough too what the Ugh, come on oh but I can see their HP over on the other side okay that's helpful okay I'm just gonna keep wailing on the mages I wish you could actually hit them back into the combo field. Luckily, Colbjorn is doing a fantastic job. Oh, come on, Colbjorn. There we go. Wait, am I taking damage while I'm in that? I have no idea. Those damage fields are, like, the most obnoxious thing ever. Stun him. Didn't stun him. That? Why? Okay, so Colbjorn's stun doesn't work on this guy. Okay. Well... That's <laughs> uh, kind of rough. I wonder if I ever get, like, a healer-type companion. That'd probably break the game really, really hard, but still. Alright, so you gain two fame, and reveal three encounters. Which really isn't that helpful. And three food. Okay, that is helpful. More food. Super helpful. Thank you, Armor of Gluttony. Let's camp again. Let's go up to 70 this time. Yeah, I want to save my money. I haven't had the chance to bribe any of my companions yet. Or the assassins yet. A rotten thief. Expend the effort to save him, 
and watch thousands wail as they lose their hard-earned wealth. A death at the Mulberry Inn. No, let's keep exploring. And let's go to the guild. You travel to Shipwreck Port. You ride in relative silence until Borden turns to you and asks quite seriously, What do you think of the boss? Tell him that you find Father Galfrey hard to read. Borden trusts you a little less. At the port, you are approached by a pirate bearing a load of stolen lamps. Borden goes to give him a sack of gold, presumably payment. The unusually pale pirate shakes his head. No. He pulls out a rusty bucket and his sword. I want blood. There's. Borden looks at you expectantly, as if you shouldn't protest. Give your blood. Ouch. Ooh. Faha. Borden trusts you a little more. You retrieve the weapon, uh, the crates of stolen lamps, and pile them onto the wagon before settling off. When you arrive at the drop-off point, Borden is seized with sudden emotion. I'm sorry if I asked you to give you blood. I'm a terrible person, aren't I? Tell him that he is quite a terrible person. Borden sobs for a while before pulling himself together. Damn it! Rings his hands and would like to leave. Ask what he thinks of Father Galfrey. The boss always makes sure we get our cut. You can't ask for anything better, really. In a guild of scoundrels like us. Favorite food. I don't know if I should be telling you this sort of thing. Bribe with eight gold for the information. Interesting. So the previous ones I aced. But here we go. Victory. You are learning. Oh, blackberry tart. Or maybe apple tart. Borden begins to sweat, seemingly from the pressure of the question. Ask about his family. Let's keep bribing. So this is what the bribes were for. So this is... I actually made this Back really easy bones. on myself by luck. I hope you have learned to be their master. Okay, Borden perks up a little. Yes, I have a beautiful wife. It's difficult to see her as often as I do. Uh, difficult to see her as I travel on jobs so often. Borden says he has a beautiful wife. Ask about his past. Bribe with gold. Doubt I can get more than uh, snake eyes again. Oh yeah. I was a farmer before this. Borden wrings his hands and very much leave. Bid goodbye. Get to fame. And we have we're still missing eight clues somehow. I don't know what I could have done. I'm going down to nothing. We'll stop at one. I bet I have some kind of fight. Oh. Well, thank you guys. As things so often do, suspicion turns to violence and violence to death. I had hoped you would bring something more to our table than Callus once did. Enter the inn. You find Father Galfrey at his usual place next to the fire. As you seat yourself opposite him, you notice he looks distinctly calm, despite the foretelling of his death tonight. You watch Borden, Rowena, and Grindon roaming about the tavern. I did eliminate the assassin before they eliminate me. However, I cannot be responsible for what may happen if you accuse one of my silencers wrongly. The candle, the red candle upon the fireplace burns tall. Let's talk to Father Galfrey about the about details. Okay, let's hear the death threat again. When the red candle's flame burns out on his last evening at the Mulberry Inn, the false priest will have his sins appeased. How to gather information. Offer to stand guard beside him all night. Kill me another day. This must end tonight. Hear the death threat again. Finish asking questions. Review clues. Okay. So Galfrey said, Borden has worked with him for a long time. Borden will spill more truth when drunk. Rowena has worked for him for a long time. Maroon is in the 3rd Legion of the Army. She will always tell the truth for money. Grinnan has worked for him for a short time. Grinnan makes wild accusations when drunk and will lie regardless of their personality. 
Okay, do something else. So, I'm missing clues somehow. Unless I can approach them for drinks. Let's start with... Well... The problem is, so far, the only person we know... Borden said he had a beautiful wife. Huh. Yeah, I probably do get the last eight here. Okay, let's approach Borden. Yeah. So I could bribe him for more information, or I can drink with him for more information. Borden looks happy that you offered. I'll have a mulberry wine then, if you're offering. Damn it. I fear that you're trying to get me drunk to gain insight into something. I'll be honest with you, I know very, very little about what goes on here. Drink with him again? Wait, I get another chance? Oh, come on! Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. Keep practicing. I can keep drinking with him. Fortunate time for your skills to leave you. There we go. Nicely timed. Drunken Borden pulls you close. I'm sure Grey Eyes mentioned something about a red candle the other night, he whispers nervously. So Grindon was talking about a red candle. Figured as much. Do something else. Rowena. Drink with Rowena to gain details. She does not drink. Okay, so she doesn't drink. What about Grindon? Okay, drink with Grindon for info. Well, that's a little bit easier. Borden murdered his wife, you know. Sold her to the desert nomads. Grindon drunkenly said that Borden murdered his wife. Hurry now. Oh. The moment is almost here. Make your decision. Okay. Let's review the clues. Let's review what Galfrey said. Borden will spill more truth when drunk. Oh. Grindon makes wild accusations when drunk. And will always lie. So it's it's gotta be Grindon. Let's accuse Grindon. You draw your weapon and point it carefully at him. To hell with you, he hisses. You've uncovered the assassin. Yeah, the assassin always lies. So we pretty much knew what it was from the very beginning. I'm curious how to get the rest of the clues, probably with heavy bribery there. Okay, Silencer Grindon claims to have royal lizardman blood ro running through his veins. That seems like bullshit. The world would not kiss now? Unfortunately, I'm supposed to uh, execute these guys, which might be a bit harder. Okay. There's one. Yeah, I gotta be careful. These guys are hurty. Let's 
See if this stuns him or kills him. I assume that did not... Nope, that stunned him. That makes this a lot easier. And does this count? It might. Alright, well this will help a little bit. Oh, thank you Xander Ko for the, uh, for the resub. As the violence subsides, you realize that Father Galfrey is standing next to you, eyeing Grindon's body glibly. Such a shame. I thank you for your services. He places a heavy bag of gold in your hand, and then returns to his seat by the fireplace. There is still a chance of completion, but no chance of perfection now. So, because I didn't have all the clues, we didn't finish it. Well, the... More cards, more choices, more I... tokens to unlock. Guess I should not have sold a single thing there. Well, we'll be back to this mission later. Because we got hit kind of hard by some things. Uh, so these are starting bonuses, which actually should help later on. But we need more gold gain cards for the assassin to be done perfectly. That's for certain. Here the hermit hides, and with him the secrets that underpin your history. We will explore them together. Okay. The lovers. Keep Oswin safe from his murderous lover. Undead lackeys. Share food. Oh. Oh, if he's in... Oh. Oh. Okay. 